Good morning. Today we're going to talk about how to cut your surfaces on your glider. To do so, you need a cutting tool, such as a pair of scissors, or a craft knife, if you have one and you know how to use one. And then I also recommend, for resiliency and robustness, some form of tape to tape your hinge. This can be sellotape or scotch tape or the like, um, or I prefer the use of electrical insulating tape. It's a little bit easier to work with and, and peel off and replace. Easily found in any supermarket in the DIY section. So over the next few minutes, we're gonna go through the steps of cutting out a surface, preparing it for hinging, and where to hinge. And again, I recommend you hinge the top surface of the wing, an elevator surface tail, not the bottom surface, but it's up to you. When you go to cut out your flaps and elevators, look on your glider and see if there are already preformed lines. If those exist, we will use those to guide our cutting. On this blue glider, you can see there's one on each wing, and then a set on the horizontal tail. We don't have one on the vertical tail, which isn't a big deal as we won't be using it for this purpose. Once we do that, we can use our cutting tool to cut along each of these edges. Do not cut along this edge because we want to use that as a hinge. So we can use our scissors, as we see here, to cut gently along the line like that, or if you have a craft knife, you can easily cut along those lines. Once you've cut each of the edges, you'll, we'll show you how to bend the wings. Now, as you can see, we have a surface that moves both ways, more so up than down, but that's not material to this discussion, because you don't need a lot of deflection. Now, as I bend this, it's going to break over time, so I'm going to put a little bit of tape on that surface. Now, as you can see here, I have tape on the surface. Don't forget if it overlaps your joint there to cut the tape so that the surface moves freely. And that's how you cut a surface.